In tonight's Military Matters, a local Army veteran and entrepreneur invented a new piece of gear for soldiers in the battlefield. He used his own invention while he was deployed to Afghanistan. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline got a closer look at how it's made. I used to use a carabiner or like a D-ring or an O-ring or something that would just clip onto my uniform. And it just kind of created that single point um, mess where things just start to turn and tumble. Entrepreneur Capcam served in the Army for years with a 15-month deployment to Iraq and three tours to Afghanistan. You know, before a convoy, when you're getting a briefing, when you're just out there eating breakfast at, on a to-go plate on top of a Humvee. He found a way to be hands-free on the battlefield called Cap Clips, and now he's selling his invention to the troops. I basically took an old chin strap. So this is a three-quarter inch buckle, side release buckle, and I took two of them and just kind of made one of these years ago. Cap Clips goes right into the molly slots on the vest. He makes the invention by hand with the help of a sewing like machine out of his family dry cleaning business in Killeen. It took him a few tries to get it right. So then I cut them into little pieces like this. So each helmet will have these rear buckles and that allows you to weave the back strap in there like that. Once complete, part of it attaches by Velcro to the helmet. As a creator, I would like for, is to see as many people use this as possible. Cap Clips is patent pending. Kim applied early this year and is awaiting word. For now, he's selling them online and at the dry cleaner. He sold about 60 in the last couple of months online. Belt it down. Mm -hmm. um, and that's pretty much it. In Killeen, Jillian Angeline, Channel 6 News. Kim credits his mom with helping him to learn how to sew and supporting him each step of the way. The clips are about $16 at the shop and about $19 online.